Hi, it's Corrine. I'm here today with a guest design team project for Saw Crafter. I am altering two of her dressers that she has in her store, and I'll put the link in the description box below, also with a coupon code for 5% off if you spend $30 or more. That'll all be in the description box below. Here I'm showing you I painted the dressers one coat of gesso and two coats of white. Um, I glued them together, and Saw has great videos showing how to put all of these together they're super simple and I'm deciding if I want to stack them or put them next to each other I like that I have the option to do either or and here are all my papers that I pre-measured and cut out I am using London Market the pink paisley collection if you've been following my channel I did um, a set of three dressers of hers a week ago I believe that I use this same paper collection so I wanted these to match Here I'm showing you, I just traced the front of the drawer and I'm using a one inch circle punch to pr punch out that half circle there. I, I get asked sometimes why I used gesso if I end up using white paint. At the time I just did a coat of gesso, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have these dressers match the other dressers. So I did everything, I primed everything and put it all together just ahead of time. So when I decided to go ahead and match them to the other dresser, um, being that they'll be sitting on my desk next to each other, then that's when I decided to add two coats of white paint. So I'm using a multimedium to add my paper to. And I don't show this entire process, but I do that with all of the papers, the top of the dresser sides, the back, the front of the doors. and. Previously, I did edge all my papers in Distress Ink in Vintage Photo. This was a quick process. I just measured it all out, cut all my papers out, and then adhered them quickly. So here's all the papers ad adhered. I did not adhere any to the middle because at this point I decided to put the dressers together. So this is some of Saw's beautiful trim the nine row scallop trim. I decided to add some of that to the back of the dresser. These are little buttons that I got from Home Depot and I painted them in the same white. I'm adding a little bit of E6000 and hot glue and using them as my drawer poles. So here's where I decided to go ahead and glue the dressers together. They're a perfect fit together. And I'll have the product codes in the description box for each of these dressers. But she has several to choose from. I just added E6000 and hot glue. And then I did set something heavy on them and let them sit for probably a couple hours. So here they're attached together. And now I'm just going to add some flowers and some of Saw's wood pieces to the top as well. I'm adding some shabby trim and so those are some handmade flowers. And then I'm also adding some wild orchid craft flowers in there, some tulips. Also some chrysanthemums. I just love Saw's wood storage. Um, these fit perfectly on my desk so I can put all my little pearls and things inside of these dressers. In that little armoire dresser I keep my some some of my distress inks. It holds about five distress inks so I, I put the ones that I grab for the most in that little armoire but you can put laces whatever you'd like to put in there. This was actually a very quick project to do.
here I'm showing you I use some of her clock hands and one of her oval numbers and I use some white pigment ink along with some white embossing ink and I ink those up emboss them off camera and now I'm just adding them to the center of the flower she has so many different sentiments and numbers and clock hands and clocks and just so much to choose from. I wanted to add something to the center of that handmade flower, so I added a little rosebud. And one of her wood leaves. I left that the natural color along with this sentiment that says charming. I added a little, again, E6000 and hot glue to that to add that on. And now I'm adding a rhinestone buckle with a pearl and a few other pearls throughout. I'm taking my heat gun to get rid of any glue strings that are left around. And here is the dresser a little bit up close. I then decided to, um, I'm sorry, first of all, I wanna show you here that that little piece of wood I used as a door stopper, that came off of one of the drawers, I believe. It was just an extra throwaway piece and I just adhered it with some E6000 and I, it stops the doors perfectly. So here's where I decide to add some of that same trim to the bottom of the drawers. So I just kind of measured it out just by looking at it and I cut it out and I added some hot glue to both of them and pressed it in there. She has a ton of storage that you can use for your room, tons of um, different storage things. And like I said, she on all of her products, she has videos showing how to put them together. So they're super easy to do, very easy to follow. They literally just pop together. And I always add a little bit of E6000 to them. You can add wood glue as well. And I have also heard people using glossy accents works very well. So here is the final dresser. I will also put a photo here of my large um, dressers if you had not seen that video, just showing how they coordinate together. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed and all the links will be in the description box below.